Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. What we're going to be talking about today is we're going to be going over a quick tutorial on AutoCAD Architecture 2026. This will work for previous versions. Guys, let's dive right into it. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to see and look at here is our layout. So you can see here there's a few things a little different from the standard version of AutoCAD. Uh, so we have our windows, doors, walls, all of these things are pre-constructed for us in AutoCAD architecture. So we can just start drawing right away and we don't have to worry about really doing any blocks or anything either. If you come here, we can see that our, rib, our um, side thing here with the opening and you know new drawings and everything is, is relatively the same. So it works the same. All we wanna do is click new and we'll be brought to a new drawing. So there's actually a problem that can occur here where you're gonna have all just the base components of AutoCAD instead of the actual tool set for AutoCAD architecture. So if you want to fix that, there's one way that I know that always works for me is you want to go to your command bar, you want to type in options. So you want to type in options, you're going to see that options shows up, you want to press enter. And then you're going to see all these profiles here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select one. So if it's on the base AutoCAD or AutoCAD default, you're going to not have any of these tools. Select your location and what you're working with. You can see we have AutoCAD architecture for all these different regions. I'm just doing US Imperial. So select the one you want, click set current, it will set it. And while things might not change here at first, click apply and then click OK. And then everything will update and change as you need it. So that's something that's really important and, and nice to be aware of is that's a problem that does occur in AutoCAD architecture and that's one way you would fix it. All right, so how do we actually start drawing in AutoCAD architecture? Well, if you come up here to the ribbon, we're gonna go over the ribbons and then we'll start drawing. You can see we have our windows, we have doors, we have walls. If we click the drop down menu, we have different types of walls. So if I click wall here, we're gonna see we're gonna have this pop-up show up. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this palette here and I'm gonna just pull this one up so we can look at it a little better. And what we have here is we have the ability to select different walls. So if I click on this browse thing here, if we click that, we can select different types of walls. So you can go select the wall you want. It's going to tell you the statistics for it as well. So you can kind of select what you need for your drawing. Think of this program as kind of like a combination of AutoCAD and Revit, just so that it's it's, it's kind of easier for AutoCAD users to use this and jump into this than it would be, I'd say, to Revit. Um, but again, it does have quite a bit of a learning curve. So you go through, select the wall that you want. You can do this for walls, you can do this for curtain walls, you know, curtain wall units, doors, window assemblies, railings, like all these different things, structural columns and braces and beams and all these things. They all have these statistics and things that you can go through to adjust. Uh, you can you can go and play with those if you want. We'll get into that a little later, but I just wanted to show you that. So as you can see up here, we have our walls, doors, windows, roof slabs, stairs, space. It's pretty much everything you need in order to create a drawing in AutoCAD architecture. We also have our base drawing tools here from standard AutoCAD. So we have our lines, we have our polylines. Any command you use in AutoCAD, you could use here pretty much. And you can start drawing as you would in standard AutoCAD. Uh, however, again, it would be highly recommended to just not do that and to use the actual tool set if you're going to use it. So if you go to modify too as well, all the modify tools are here that you know uh, from our base version of AutoCAD. If Speaking of which, if you haven't already and you want to know more about the base version of AutoCAD, I'm going to leave a link to the tutorial somewhere on the video. So you can go check that out, watch that, and then come back to this if you're unfamiliar with both programs. However, if you are familiar with AutoCAD, then we'll just continue on here. We can see we have our layers and everything. Everything kind of works the same. We have our annotations, utilities, you know, all these other things here as well. And everything kind of works as it would in standard AutoCAD. Now, some things are a little different and some things are placed in different areas. So you can see here our, our annotation section is a little different. Um, you know, we can render things now and create lights, create shadows, have a sun, all these other things. And this is all just useful for visualizing the structure as well. Uh, if we go to view, there's a whole whack of stuff here that we, you know, we still have a bunch of this in standard AutoCAD, but there's a few things that are different. Um, I actually don't want that there. So as, so as you can see, everything's kind of the same. So we can select the type of style we want to see you know, manage all these other things. We don't need to go into that. We're just going to deal with drawing. So with all that kind of quickly explained for you guys as quickly as I could in the time that we have, we're going to start drawing. Okay, guys, so we're going to start drawing now. So what you want to do is click on your wall. And then when you're in your wall, before we go and select the wall that we want to use, what we want to do is we want to select the base height of our wall. So go put in the height that you want. I'm going to keep mine at the default, uh, the default 10. And then I'm going to go click browse. And you can see that we're going to be able to go through and select the wall we want. So if you click browse, it should bring it up. Mine's not for some reason. That's probably because I have it open already. So I'm just going to click escape. And then we're going to be brought to this part here. So click on the wall that you want to use. I'm going to use this wall here. And then I recommend you start in the bottom left-hand corner just because it's easier when you're using references or you're trying to reference things. Um, 
to to have everything based on okay well i know the bottom left hand corner is zero zero and then you can move things and if you're using coordinate systems to find things it's just easier to do that so we're just going to come here we're going to click in the bottom left hand corner we're going to go over 10 feet we're going to go up six feet we're going to go across 10 feet we're going to go down six feet we're going to go across 10 feet and again this isn't an actual drawing it's just something that uh you know, I'm just trying to give you guys an example, 23 feet. So just go around and, you know, draw your drawing the way you want it. So draw to your requirements and, any, and, and everything, and then make sure once it's done that it's connected. Because once it's connected, it will it's automatically going to connect all your corners. So it's not going to look choppy and gross. And that's how we would do that. So that's how you draw your walls in AutoCAD architecture. So what do we do now? Well, we didn't add door openings. We didn't add wall, window openings. These are all things we need to add. I also didn't do any interior walls either. And again, that's just to keep this tutorial under the time limit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our doors and we're going to click on doors and we're going to be able to browse through our door catalog here. So make sure that your width and your height and everything are right where you want them. I'm actually going to go back because I have my styles browser already open. So if you click browse, it'll bring you there. And you can see here, what I can do is I can select the doors that I want. So for my front door, what kind of door do I want? So I'm going to you know, just browse through here, see what kind of door I want. I have to hinge the double doors here. Um, you know, maybe I want a double door here. So I'm going to go click that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to select the wall or the grid assembly that I want to put it on. So I'm going to click that and then it's going to put it here on my drawing. So what you can notice here is it's kind of like similar to Revit, I guess, in this sense, in that it's giving me the distances between that assembly and my, my drawing as well, so that I kind of can place it where I need it to go. So you can see here, I'm having a little bit of a tough time trying to get it to fit. So two to one, one to 15. If I zoom in a little bit more, you can kind of like put it kind of where you want it to be. So our distance is 10. Um, we're probably gonna wanna have it somewhere in the middle, but I'm gonna do that for now, just place it down. And then I'm going to want to move it and shift it. So. As I shift it though, you can see it's kept the hole in the wall. So you kind of want to place it where you want it. Um, so, you know, yeah, we're going to click that again, double click. And then we want to make it, uh, we want to put it here. And we're going to kind of want to get it as close as possible. So obviously you're going to want to put it as close as possible to what you need. So you can see here, I'm a little bit off, but uh, you know, that's okay. I'm just going to try and get it close. And you could type in these values. It's just I, I don't want to do math right now. So I'm sure you understand. We're just going to click there. It's relatively close. And then it's going to open up our door as well. So we can just go to the 3D view. And you can see that our door has been placed. And our door is exactly where we want it to be. And you can see it is a double door. So I do the same thing with my windows. So if I want windows, I go in here into my thing. I can also click up here. So I go to my windows. I can select the window that I want. Um, I'm going to have to go back because I have my styles browser open and I can click whatever window I want. I think that's a nice one. So we're going to click that one and then we're going to click our assembly and we're going to put it about halfway through. So we're just going to go over here and do probably two and 10 close enough. And then two and 10 close enough. And you can see here, I can just kind of put this on any assembly that I want. So I can just go and, you know, I can, I can place a window here, I can place a window here, and I can place windows kind of wherever I want them to be. 411. And then what I want to do too is maybe I want a door at the back. So I click door, I select the door I want, double click it. And again, you're gonna have to, if, you're, if yours isn't set up like mine where you have the uh, palette here open, you're gonna have to click browse and you go through that by going up here, selecting your door, your window, you click browse and then it should open it up for you. So I'm going to go here, got my doors going, and then I'm just going to go to a single door. We're going to click here and we're going to place it right where we want it. That's close enough. So there we go. And then you also want to make your make sure your swings and everything are set up properly. And then if we go into our 3D view, you're going to see we have our windows, we have our doors and everything's put there properly. So what do we need to do now? Well, we need to add a slab. So just select slab. We're going to go back to our two dimensional view. You can always rotate using the rotate thing up here. So this will go left and right. And then if you click on the corners of your of your box here, just like in regular AutoCAD, it'll bring you to a three dimensional view. I'm just gonna do the exterior portion of this and we're gonna go around, we're gonna click around. 
then we're going to close it. Once you're done, once it's closed, press enter and it'll create your slab. You're going to want to make sure your slab is not floating. Mine isn't floating, so that's very good. And then we're good to go. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is add our roof. So we're just going to come up here to our roof slab. We're going to click roof and then we're going to be able to adjust the basic settings of how our roof is going to look. I would recommend you set it to what I have so we can just, you know, go over the example. So pause the video, go through this, and then we're going to get started. So what you want to do now is you want to select the corners of your building. So I'm going to select the first corner. I'm going to select the second corner, much like the slab that we did for the, for the base. And you're going to see that our roof is already starting to develop. So what AutoCAD architecture does is it automatically does all the math for you. So you don't have to, you know, go and create a roof drawing. So as you can see here, once that's done, I'm just going to erase my... Uh, my slab on the bottom for a sec so you can see the roof and you can see that it's created a roof and it's added all the slopes and everything for us so we don't have to worry about any incorrect math so you can see our roof looks really good it's something that would take you a little bit of time in AutoCAD it's taken you like two seconds to do an AutoCAD architecture if we go into the 3d view you can see that our roof is uh it's not highlighted totally perfectly but you can see that it does add the roof to our drawing and we can see what it would kind of look like on our drawing and we can see what our house would look like as well. You can see that some of our, our back windows and stuff are all bleeding through and that's just the way that the visual style is right now. But that's how you would do that basic floor plan in, in AutoCAD architecture and that's how you get started in AutoCAD architecture. If you guys like this video, check out the channel. We're trying to make a little bit more AutoCAD architecture videos because we're starting to dip our toes into that a little bit more. If you like this stuff, again, like, subscribe, join the channel if you really want to support us. And go check out our AutoCAD Masterclass uh, video that we have on our channel. It's a really great video and it teaches you how you can start learning better, you know, quicker and more efficiently. So guys, take care and we'll see you in the next one.